All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is uh, More Cowbell, coming from SNL. Let's check it out. More Cowbell. After a series of staggering defeats, Blue Oyster Cult assembled in the recording studio in late 1976 for a session with famed producer Bruce Dickinson. And luckily for us, the cameras were rolling. All right, guys, I, I think we're ready to lay this first track down. Because we have some way, vintage my SNL. Name is Bruce Dickinson. Yes, the Bruce Dickinson. And I gotta tell you, fellas, you have got what appears to be a dynamite sound. Coming from you, Bruce, that means a lot. Right. Yeah, I mean, you're Bruce Dickinson. This is incredible. I can't believe Bruce Dickinson digs our sound. Yeah. Easy, guys. I put my pants on. Just like the rest of you, one leg at a time. Except, once my pants are on, I make gold records. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Fear, don't fear the reaper. Take one, roll it. All right. Let's get it. One, two, three, four. I think this song exists, guys. I'm almost positive. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on. Um, Bruce, could you come in here for a second, please? That, that was going to be a great track, guys. What's the deal? Uh, are, are you sure that was sounding okay? I'll be honest. Yeah, it sounded guys, it was great. Sounding great, but absolutely. I could have used a little more cowbell. <laughs> so, let's take it again. And Gene, yeah, really explore the studio space this time. You got it, Bruce. I okay. Mean, really, yeah. Explore the space. Okay. I like what I'm hearing. Roll it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Let's get it. Could you come back in there, please? Fellas. No, we we just wasted two good tracks. Bro, Bruce is doing good. Leave the man alone. All right? I think he's producing a solid track. I do think that the overall energy of it, I mean, listen, it sounds familiar. I'm almost positive this is a legitimate song that they're, like, emulating here, guys. And also, the guy with the cowbell, great job. I'd definitely, you know, pass on the dancing. The dancing is just, you know, a tad bit too much, uh, to be honest, right? And definitely get a slightly larger shirt. That's where we're at right now. This last one was even better than the first. Well, it's just that I find Gene's cowbell playing distracting. It's not distracting. No, no, no. If I'm the only one, I'll shut up. No, nah, right. it's pretty rough. You know, I can pull it back a little if you like. I mean, honestly, bro, just pull back the dance. Not too much, though. I'm telling you, fellas. Right. You're going to want that cowbell on the track. You know what? It, it's fine. I mean, like, wouldn't it be smarter just to put, like, him away from them with this, with his own microphone so he can, you know, not bother the rest of the people and playing? let's just do the thing. Okay, roll it. Don't explore One, the two, space, bro. Three, four. That's how it generally works in the studio, right? <laughs> Come on, right. It's not that serious, bro. You know, that that it doesn't work for me. Right. I gotta have more cowbell. There are issues here. Don't blow this for us, Gene! Could be, could be so selfish, Gene. Can I just say one thing? Yeah, hey, baby, just say it. I'm staring here, staring at rock legend Bruce Dickinson. I'm a cock and a walk, baby. And if Bruce what? Dickinson wants more. Bro, you're the what? Staring at rock legend Bruce Dickinson. I'm a cock and a walk, baby. And if Bruce Dickinson wants more know, cowbell, bro. we should probably give him more cowbell. Okay, <laughs> baby. And Bobby, you are right. I am being selfish. Bro, it's, it's a shirt for me, all right? I don't know if it's a shirt uh, or if it's like the belt. Um, 
It's definitely the shirt for me. But the last time I checked, we don't have a whole lot of songs that feature the cowbell. This man's belly button on cowbell, baby. is definitely a playing a character in the sketch right now, guys. I'm doing myself a and every member of this band if I didn't perform the hell out of this. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Right. <laughs> bro, put him on the other side of the studio, bro. Give him his own microphone and allow him to produce this. That's it. He can go as hard as he wants, but not in the lead singer's ear. Thank you, Bruce. But I think, if, I think if, I, if I just leave and I'll, maybe I'll come back later, we can lay down the cowbell. Come on, baby. Gene, wait. Why don't you lay down that cowbell right now with us together? Bro, why are you... Why are you doing that? The drama is unnecessary. Bro. Do you mean that, Eric? Oh, he means it. He speaks for all of us. Thank you. Babies, before we're done here, y'all be wearing gold-plated diapers. What does that mean? Never question Bruce Dickens. I don't mean nothing. Bro. Roll it. That, that means literally he said nothing and expected you to realize what he was saying. It meant nothing. One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, the guys, the cowbell situation could have been fixed, but I understand it was meant to just be like some like like super cool. Look at how close we are as a unit type of thing. Um, I don't think it came off like that, right? It came off as a little bit cringe, right? But the cowbell actually works within that song. I wouldn't like, again. I wouldn't. It wouldn't be so loud on the final mix, but either way, it definitely works, guys. All right. Listen. Let me know in the comments on the next one of these from them that I should be checking out, and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right. Listen. You guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.